Welcome back to A Minute with Alan. There was a hugely brilliant Broadway play called Fences, and I'm going to use that title today on a much more mundane topic, Actual Fences. I have six acres of property here, and I had the rear surveyed because it wends its way through woods and streams and wetlands and everything else because I wanted a, a demarcation line because a lot of my neighbors clear their uh, their own property, rightly so, but there has to be some kind of line that says, hey, you're on my property now. And so I had it surveyed, and the surveyor's marks are up, and I called a fence company, and I said, I like the fence. And I said, we're talking a couple hundred yards here, you know? It's a good piece of business. Guy came, he said, you know, this is difficult, it goes up and down. I said, yeah, land goes up and down, so the fences. He says, I don't know if I could price this, I have to call the boss, he'd have to come. I said, fine, well, he never came back. So I called him two weeks ago, and I said, look, if you're interested in my business, the holidays are over, get back to me by Friday or I'm going elsewhere. Well, they never got back to me. And the problem with small business owners, some small business owners, is they have small minds, all right? Because not only do they lose my business, they lose my referral business. They lose my goodwill. So I went to the equivalent of the Yellow Pages today. I went back on the internet, I, I Googled in fences, and I found a guy in the next town who answered his own cell phone and said, I'd be happy to look at your property. Let's pick a time next week when I can come down there. Then he says to me, and this is clever, will your wife be there? And I said, well, I don't know. It depends what she's got scheduled that day. He said, I prefer she's there. I said, you know, I've heard this song before. You're worried that you're going to sell me. And after I speak to my wife, she's going to overrule me. Is that right? He said, well, it's happened. I said, look, we're married 50 years. That's not going to happen with us. But if it'll make you more comfortable, I'll see if she can be there. Now, I don't blame him for that. That's just fine. And I'm sure when he comes down here, I'm probably going to have him do the fence because he's responsive and he's smart and he's interested in my business. Fences, don't be on the wrong side of one.